So this is going to be a video documentation of a 600 diaster conversion that I'm building. It's basically a Hobby King HK600 GT electric and I'm going to be adding a 25cc Sears Craftsman weed eater engine. I've got it all stripped down. Everything that's unnecessary has been removed. Later on in the video you'll see the brackets that I'm going to design and machine out for this to work. I'll have to shorten up the mainframe. I'll be cutting it off about this height. And then from that point up that'll be used in a conversion rotor head. I'm also switching out from the Mod 0.7 gears to the Mod 1 gears. So I bought a T-Rex 700 main gear and the first thing I had to do as you can see are the one-way clutch mounts it's much larger on the 600 so I had to pull the uh, clutch case out and uh, machine that down in my lathe to where now it fits like it's supposed to inside of the main gear and then I'll have to drill out the holes and get that to mount. I'm going to use the same uh, uh, 600 tail rotor drive and I've picked up a steel Mod 1 pinion. The pinion needs to be much larger in diameter than it would be for a nitro engine because the uh, weed eater engine only turns about 6500 RPM so I need to gear that up in order to maintain the same head speed. Since there's no CAD drawings available for the engine that I wanted to use in my helicopter conversion, I needed to map out the mounting holes. So in addition to the optical process that I used by tracing a photograph in my CAD software, I opted to also bring out the engine and strap it to my Bridgeport Nemo, which has a DRO, a digital readout. And using a uh, ballpoint pen as a simple probe, I started with a master bolt in the upper right hand corner as my zero zero point. And then I sent the probe to the center of each bolt that I needed to drill out for the mount and begin to map out the screw locations. As you can see, we're centered over the second bolt to the left of the master bolt. We didn't have to move any on the Y because they're perpendicular to each other but we can see that on the X axis we moved negative 2.55 inches. So I made a simple simple sketch, simple notes, did that for every hole and then I can take this in and compare that to where the screw locations mapped out using the optical method with the photograph. And between the two methods this should give me pretty good accuracy on where the holes are going to align with the brackets that I make. The issue was the holes on the sides. These go way down into a uh, casting into the base of the motor. They're probably an inch down inside of those holes. So I chose a probe that was approximately the same diameter as the hole so when I ran it down in there it would be easy for me to tell if I was centered on it or not. So after getting all the holes mapped out I came in and drew it up in the CAD software. I think I've pretty much got everything done ready to go. I'll have to add a couple holes later for some of the drivetrain components but I can do that manually and uh, I'll get this prototyped out here in the next couple days and uh, see if it fits. In order for the clutch bell to fit underneath the main rotor main shaft I need to cut off the original square drive that was used to run the flexible shaft down to the weed eater head. This won't be necessary since I'll be adding a 
uh, posi drive belt system. Okay, I've got that shortened up. Came out real nice and clean. So I finished the toolpath generation in uh, sheet cam and now I can convert that to G-code, load it on the USB stick and then we'll go out to the garage and uh, should be able to cut this out. Okay, I got the G-code loaded up in the CNC machine and I got the raw stock mounted, tool mounted. Everything should be set up so we're ready to go. Hit the go button here. cleaned up, mounted right on there. As far as I can tell, it came out perfectly. All the holes line up and uh, got the slots in there. That affords a half inch of movement so I can tighten the drive belt once I get that mechanism installed. Helicopter body will mount on top. And uh, I still got to make the brackets for that. They'll come down, mount into these holes. Uh, you probably can't see them very well. A couple of holes there for mounting the body to. And so in the next video, I'll be working on the uh, power transmission system and probably the body mounting brackets. And really, that's about all that's left. Um, not much further to go. So this will be the front of the helicopter. Pull rope will come right out the front. These four holes on these tabs, that's where the skids will mount to. The skids will mount uh, under the corners, come out, come down, and then the, the motor will just be cradled amongst all that.